Oh no. Oh yeah. No, these expired a year ago. Cool. <laughs> that looks like silly string. So, ugh, look how gross that is. Yeah, look, something's coming up. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, we are going to be deep cleaning my car. I spend a lot of time in my car. I used to live in my car. I've gone on hundreds of road trips. And even nowadays, I like to go on little day trips and honestly, just I'm in my car a lot. And so it does get, you know, kind of messy, kind of dirty pretty quickly. And in a lot of these videos that I've done over the years of me cleaning my car, I'm generally organizing my stuff, putting things back where they're supposed to go and stuff like that. But in today's video, yes, the first five minutes minutes is going to be some organizing, but the rest of the video is going to be deep cleaning my car. I'm not a professional or anything, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to hopefully be a little bit better than it is right now. I actually just deep cleaned my car about a month ago. So right now it's not awful, but uh, it's definitely time to do it again. We're only going to do the front half of my car. We're not going to do the back seat or the trunk, but yeah, we're just going to organize this really quickly. And then I'm going to get all my cleaning supplies, my vacuum and everything out of the trunk. And yeah, I really hope that you're subscribed for a lot of like car and road trip content, but also a lot of just lifestyle content, hanging out with me, cooking stuff like that. So yeah, I really hope that you're subscribed, but let me just show you what my car looks like right now as a little before video, and then we'll start cleaning. Okay. So this is the before I have some trash down there. And then, oh goodness, okay, so that's in between my seats. This is my phone holder that goes in my little like CD thing, but I took that down so I can film. So that doesn't really go there. But besides that, that's all down there. A bunch of hair, dusty. And then <laughs> over here, we are going to organize this for just a couple minutes and then again deep clean it i'm actually going to go through this bag i'll show you what's in here what i'm getting rid of and then down there is mostly just bags that i just need to put in their proper place but also probably some garbage let me just show you up here yes my car is on because when i get back in it i need the air conditioning honestly it's not too bad up here definitely dusty but not too bad there's roger in there my little dinosaur Okay, so as you can see, my passenger seat is a little messy. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so my purse is here. That's just obviously here. And then the main thing that I have in my passenger seat that lives in my passenger seat is this. My other camera just fell. <laughs> It's okay, it's a GoPro, it's fine. So I got this on Amazon, I don't know, a year or two ago, and I love this. This is just essentially a front seat organizer, and it clips around your headrest, or it can just sit there, but it clips around your headrest, and it just holds a lot of stuff that I really like to have, kind of like readily available when I'm on a road trip or a day trip, or honestly, even just like, in my car. Sorry, try to get comfortable. So basically, let me just show you what's in here really quickly because I might be getting rid of a couple of the things in here. Really what I keep in here are some like shower wipes that were really handy when I was traveling a lot, but honestly, I'm not traveling as much right now. I do want to keep these. However, they have been in here for probably two years at this point, and I honestly just don't know if they expire. So what I'm going to do is potentially email this brand and like show them the lot number and stuff and just see if they expired or not. So I'm not sure. So at least for now, they're gonna stay in there. I also just have another thing of wipes that again, I'm not really sure if they ever expire and there's no expiration date. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Oh yeah. No, these expired a year ago. And I'm actually pretty sure that I used one of these just a couple months ago. But these expired literally almost exactly a year ago, September 15th, 2022. So that's getting thrown out. Oops, I'm pretty sure I used one of these like two months ago. Oh well. So then honestly, could we kind of assume that these are expired too? Dang it. I think I'm still gonna look them up, but it's potential probable that we're gonna throw these out. So the only other few things that I have in here are a sunglass case, an empty one. I don't know why this is in here. So this is gonna also go inside. And then I have a devotional called His Princess. I have a little video game system. I actually have two of these that are like fake Game Boys, basically, that just have like a bunch of games like preset on them. And so I like to have that in the car just in case I wanna play a game. Um, I have some change in this little bag. And then I have a tripod just in case. I have a hair clip 
And then in the pockets, I have stuff that I use all the time. So in this pocket, that's like the closest to me, I have a working hands hand lotion, my favorite thing in the world. I have, oh, two of them. <laughs> and then I have a native deodorant. This is the sea salt and cedar. I love this scent. So I have that there. I have a hair clip, like I said. Oh, it's very awkward to hold this. Um, and then I have, let's see. I have hand warmers or toe warmers. I'm in Florida. It's a million degrees. This also expired last year, so that's getting tossed. I have these deodorant wipes that honestly, do these have an expiration date? I don't know. These are just gonna be another thing that I might email the lot number and see. I have a scrunchie, I have some tissues, and that's really it. There's a couple other things, a nail file, stuff like that. So I just like to keep this in the front seat because it's handy. It's handy to, don't fall. It's handy to have all that stuff like right there. For now, this is gonna go here. The only other things on here are a sweatshirt that probably needs to be washed. So this is also going inside. I know I'm in Florida and it's hot, but I just still like to have a sweatshirt in the car just in case. I have a napkin. I have, oh, gross. There's like two bites of this protein bar left. Gross. I have an empty bag of these Everybody Eat Cheeseless Thins. I love these, love these. I just have a, like a mailing thing. I have an empty thing of hand sanitizer. That's getting thrown out. I have my uh, O2 Cool, my little like sprayer fan that I love, but that goes in the back seat. And then I have a garbage bag. Why? Oh, because I recently, recently had a flat tire. And then my roommate and I changed my tire to my spare. And then I put my actual tire in the car so that I could bring it to a tire shop so that they could patch it. And I put this on my seat to save my seat from the tire. That's what happened. Anyway, this can just go back inside to be used as a garbage bag. All right, so now my seat is clean. It needs to be vacuumed, but there's nothing on it anymore. There's that. All right, and then down here, again, this is my GoPro that I'm going to use for a little bit more filming. And then it's a couple things of trash. Oh my goodness. This is hard to do because this is on my lap. Okay, so, oh, this has stuff in it. Oh, okay, this needs to go inside. This is some packing material, some tissue paper and some tape. I have a few boxes to go out. So that just needs to go in the house. And then I have my little steering wheel desk that I might use to eat or, you know, whatever, but I don't need that right now. So that's gonna go in the back seat. And then this bag, this is trash. This is trash. These are just dirty from the last time that I cleaned my car. So I'm honestly probably just gonna leave those down there anyway. I will bring those inside, but I don't want them in the other pile of stuff to bring inside because they're dirty. And then this bag and this bag are just gonna go. I like to put my bags behind my driver's seat right here. Look how dirty this is. And then the last thing down here is from when I went to Lake Griffin State Park, oh gosh, a month ago or something. This goes in a particular like box that I have that I keep little souvenirs like this and that's inside. So again, that's gonna go inside. So now that's clean again, just for that. Oh, one more bag that again, just goes right behind my seat. Okay, and then here, this is Roger, a little dinosaur that I've had for a very long time. And then this is trash. This is a scrunchie. And then this is a little razor for your face. I'm Italian, okay? I think I need to put a new battery in that. And then in here I have a hair clip and some lip products. And then over here I have a little stuffed animal and a frog. See, a little froggy. So now I'm going to clip this. Actually, I'm not gonna clip this yet because I wanna vacuum the seat first. So I'm just gonna like let that sit there. And then this is my little garbage bag. And so now I'm going to get my cleaning supplies and my vacuum out of the trunk and we're going to detail my car. Oh, I forgot there was a tissue and a Starburst wrapper on the floor here. So this is garbage too. Okay. All right, do we want to use blue or like this green yellow? I think the green one, I think. I'm gonna grab two of those. And then my vacuum. Oh, okay. I have a lot of stuff in my hands. So I got two cloths, the brightest color in the whole world. I got two of those. And then I have this turtle wax upholstery cleaner that I got recently and I haven't used yet. And so I have that. I have a little car vacuum that I got on Amazon. And then I have this little like magazine holder that I use to hold all my cleaning supplies. What is on my seat? My cord. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so in here, that I might not use everything in here, but I'll use some of the things. I have one of these dust cleaning gel. This is slime. This is slime that you use to clean 
little like dusty parts of your car, essentially. Okay, so I have that. That'll be great for like stuff on the dash. And then I have toothbrushes to clean like really small spots and then kind of like a giant toothbrush to clean other small but not super small spots. I have some sponges just in case. And then I also have Armor All multi-purpose. I have a heavy duty and a regular. I'm not really sure why I have both. I feel like I could have just had one. And then I have disinfectant wipes. I have Windex for the windows. And then I also have, hold on. <laughs> I have Pledge Clean It Multi-Surface Wipes. All right, so I have all of that. I don't know how much of it we're gonna use, but I think that I'm going to do, what order should we do this in? Like floor seats dash? No, I should probably do the seats last. If I'm gonna use this, I've never used this before and I don't know if it's gonna leave the seat like wet. So maybe at least while I'm in the car, cause I'm at Walmart right now, maybe while I'm just in the car, I'll only do the passenger seat. And then if it works and it's good, then maybe I'll do the driver's seat like at home when I don't have to think about like driving afterwards, you know? So yeah, let's do that. Let's do floor then seats and then the dash. I think that's a good one. So the floor, basically, all I'm gonna do is uh, shake out my mats that I have and then vacuum. And again, is it gonna be perfect? No, because it's a little car vacuum from Amazon, but we're gonna still figure it out. So I'm gonna get my other camera set up so you can see a little bit of it. We're gonna do multi-camera video. This is a weird angle. Hi, okay, so. dirty honestly I need to take these because I have plastic mats over my fabric ones I need to take these and like power wash them at some point I'm not gonna do that right now but my friend I'm staying with has a power washer so I'll probably do that at some point but at least right now I just wanted to get all like the crumbs and dirt and leaves and stuff off of it okay that's fine I have the fabric one under it Again, I'm probably gonna properly power wash this as well. But just for now, just wanted to get some of that stuff off of there. We gotta vacuum this. Look at all that. And I just vacuumed down here like a month ago. This one just plugs into a little cigarette lighter. I need one of the attachments. This is not the strongest vacuum. If you have a car vacuum that you love that's really strong, that's not too expensive, let me know in the comments because this one is okay, but it's not that strong. I'm gonna try it with the brush attachment and then we'll try it with this one. So with this vacuum, honestly, this is probably the best it's gonna get. It's a lot better than before, but that vacuum is just not super strong. I could always go to a car wash, I know, so I might do that one day or just get a different vacuum, but it looks definitely better than it did. So I'm just gonna put the other mats back that again, I need to just wash separately like when I'm at home, but for now, pretty good. That's what it's gonna look like for now. This side's not nearly as bad because people usually don't sit over here. So this is only gonna take a minute. Cool. <laughs> I accidentally just opened the vacuum. Uh, gross, cool, okay, all right. Now I have to re-vacuum it, oh goodness, okay. Again, this vacuum's not super strong, but still looks pretty good. So we're gonna put the vacuum away. We're gonna put this over there. Oh no, we have to upholster. I forgot, I forgot we're doing this. Okay, all right, hold on. So now I wanna try this on the passenger seat. I've never tried it before. We're gonna open my windows. Shake can well and spray evenly onto upholstery. Okay, so let's spray it. Oh. <laughs> that looks like silly string. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. Rub foam into carpet fibers with bristle brush until foam disappears. Okay.
It looks worse, but I'm just gonna hope that it's because it's wet. All right, then what? Wipe area with a clean cloth and vacuum when dry. Okay. If it works, then that was pretty easy, but I just think it looks really bad. <laughs> Let's try the back part of the seat. Again, my windows are open because I cannot imagine that this is good. Okay, so now it just said wipe it with a clean cloth. So we're gonna take this and just... Okay, yeah, I have no clue if that worked or not. No idea, but uh, at least we did it. Oh, the headrest. It looks like silly string. I mean, or like shaving cream. Looks beautiful. All right, so now we are going to clean this area and in between the seats a little bit. I think we're doing a good job. I think we're doing a really good job. I'm going to use the heavy duty armor all for some of it and then the dust cleaning gel for some of it. Okay, so the things that I'm bringing inside, I did have on the dash, but now I just put them back on the seat. Just kind of moving stuff around a little bit. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is spray the armor all just all over basically that and then I'm gonna take a clean one of these and wipe it down honestly a lot of these stains are like really old stains so I don't really expect them to come out now but we'll at least wipe it down make sure that it's clean all right, so now this is my little Bluetooth thing. I'm just gonna take that off for a second so that I can get all of this. So instead of spraying that, I'm just gonna spray the cloth and then wipe. And then we're gonna take the gel to some of this too. Okay, and then see something like this that just has like, I don't even know if they're stains or scratches. I can't even really tell. I think some of them are scratches. Okay, and then I'll take everything out of these cubbies, clean that bottom part, and then we will clean that part, and then we'll clean in between here. This is like the really dirty part. And then we're gonna use the slime. Pretty good. Again, some of it's just scratches. So it's not gonna look perfect. It's a 13 year old car, but she's doing really good. Spray over here while I'm over here. I'm gonna wait a minute to put all that stuff back just to make sure it's totally dry. And then the same down here. Oh, P.S. I got the Armor All and these little wipes from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. I'm sure they have them in a lot of places, but that's where I got mine. Um, go over the winter. Okay. So this, I honestly wish that I filmed this a month ago when I first did it because these little circles were disgusting. They were disgusting. And I just cleaned them really, really well. So right now they're still a little bit dusty in there, but I cleaned them so well last time. I wish you got to see the before and after. <laughs> but with these, I actually took a toothbrush. Beautiful, look at that. And even last time, yes, I did like move this and clean in here. And then the last part, really, I know I didn't do the doors or anything, but at least for this video, the last part is in between here. So, ugh, look how gross that is. That's disgusting. We're just gonna spray this and let it sit and then see if I can get a toothbrush in there. It's probably on this side too, yeah. That's gross. Oh, what is down there? What's blue down there? I don't know. Yeah, down here, I have no clue how to get to uh, without going to a professional. I don't know. But in here, see all that like whatever's in there, that gross stuff? I'm not kidding. I have tried to get that out for a long time, for a long time. I've like sprayed it, let it soak. I've taken everything in there and it will not come up. So I might have to try a magic eraser because that's like the only thing I haven't tried or again, ask a professional. 
Could you imagine if today is the day that whatever's in here is like, all right, you've tried enough. I'll stop now. Yeah, look, something's coming up. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. It looks like that actually may have helped. Wow. All right, and then in here, it's such a weird angle to use a toothbrush, but I need to probably bend one of these and try to get like a 90 degree angle. And then this, all down there, disgusting. And again, my vacuum would not pick that stuff up because it's not strong enough. So I'm probably gonna have to go to a car wash and use their vacuum and try to get in there because that's disgusting. But let's see if at least I can get like whatever this is. We won't know the final reveal until I use the cloth, but ugh, gross, 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 gross. Okay, and then obviously like rinse this off before you put it back. I'm just gonna have to do that at home because again, I'm just in a parking lot. All right, let's wipe this down. Maybe it works this time. It looks like it worked a little bit. There's still some stuck on the edges, but definitely is better than it was. All right, now let's do back here. Cool, all right. Let's get in here. Ugh, gross. Look, that's pretty good now. So yeah, it's just this. There's some of that stuff in the corners that I just can't get. I got a clean part of this cloth and let's see if I can wipe this away. Yeah, look, that worked. It's hard to tell because that's so disgusting down there. That's all the way down, you know, I can't reach it. That worked. Clean this, that is a, what is that? Oh. Gross, 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 gross. Should have worn gloves now that I think about it. That's okay. All right, so that's good. Cool. And then let's try this side. Again, I can't reach all the way down, but a little bit here. This cloth still has the cleaner on it, by the way. Okay. So yeah, again, I'm gonna just have to keep trying with that. But the rest of it, besides in here, is looking good. You guys, I just cleaned the rest of like my dash and stuff with a little piece of the slime and it wasn't filming. So, I mean, I'll show you what I did, but it's already clean now. I just kind of dabbed it, rubbed it a little bit, especially in the crevices that are just hard to get with a cloth or a toothbrush, but it looks good. Dang it, I can't believe I wasn't recording, sorry. Let's see if there's any dust left over. And then I also used it in here. And I just pulled off a little piece so that I wasn't getting dust all over the whole thing. Okay, oh, let's try it in here. What is this? I don't know what that is, but I don't want it in my car. So let's just like get around here. I got this on Amazon. I'll have uh, everything linked in my description all the cleaning supplies and stuff that I used. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean all this up. Again, there are some things that I'm bringing in the house, so I'm just gonna kind of have those separate, and then I'm gonna put the cleaning supplies away, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I just remembered that it said to vacuum the seat once it is dry, and it's basically dry, so I'm just gonna vacuum it really quickly. Okay, so here's the big reveal. Obviously, I didn't clean even everything in the front seat. Like, I didn't clean the doors or anything, but I just wanted to show you at least cleaning most of the front seat of my car. And then again, I'll probably show you uh, when I power wash those as well. But at least for now, I think we did a lot in this video. So there's the front. Definitely looks better than it did. And then the passenger seat just has that bag on it. And again, that holds my phone up there but I just take it down when I'm filming. And then the seat still looks <laughs> kind of gross. So I'm gonna try that upholstery thing again. And then the floor over there is looking good. And then in between the seats looks so good. Just have my hand sanitizer, some cords, and a few other things over there. And then my dash is looking really good. And then just a little more up close here. I cannot wait to get to a car wash and clean in between there. But at least this is probably like, you know, part one kind of. All right, so like I said in the beginning, I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, but it is so much better than it was. And there's still definitely a lot more to clean in this car. So if you liked this video, I can always do a part two. I can get the doors, I can get the back seat, stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of the front seat in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was like pretty deep cleaning my car. Please let me know if you like this video. And again, please let me know if you wanna see a part two and maybe even a part three of this video. And I really hope that you're subscribed again 
and for some car related travel related stuff and also just some lifestyle stuff and hanging out with me and yeah I guess that's gonna be it thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye